The COVID pandemic has highlighted what many working in urban areas have known for a long time, which is a scale of poverty and neglect that is truly shocking. It's also highlighted the dependency of many low-income people on the informal economy and casualized trading and other informal activities. It's also, as we move out of the pandemic, really challenged academics, policymakers, and practitioners and professionals on the ground to think about what more can be done to address the needs in urban areas. What I wish to do in this lecture is understand what coalitions and alliances that have emerged and which are active in many low income cities, what they offer to our understanding of how to catalyze urban reform. As um, Jeff Paylor wrote in a recent article in Area, I'm interested in analyzing the politics of sustainable urban development and essentially recognizing that this is a political process. So this inevitably means understanding the ways in which urban reform coalitions and associated alliances address the politics of the urban area and navigate the challenges. So what do I hope to do in this lecture? I'm going to look inevitably briefly at four bodies of literature, which I think offer some insights into the processes that coalitions have used to advance their work. I'm going to, to drill down into three specific examples, one from Karachi in Pakistan, one from um, Thailand, and a second from Kenya. And uh, the Kenyan example is looking particularly at an urban reform process that is very much ongoing. And I'm going to reflect on drawing on those bodies of literature and drawing on those examples, I'm going to reflect on what we learn from that, what we learn about how we can nurture a more transformational path of urban change that offers uh, the potential to address the leave no one behind agenda, but is also cognizant of challenges that have arisen since that time. So do come, do listen and do contribute. I'm very much looking forward to the debate. Thank you.